Got it. Um, good morning. I am Valerie Bridges, Vice President of Development for the American Heart Association, and I am honored and humbled to be here today. Um, it's such an honor to see all this red behind me, and we are excited to be present. Um, heart disease is the number one killer of all Americans, but here in South Carolina, it is specifically the number one killer of women and kills more women than all cancers combined. Go Red for Women is our call to action to get women in charge of their heart health, know their numbers, and live longer, healthier lives free of cardiovascular diseases and stroke. So tomorrow is National Wear Red Day, and in honor of all the wonderful women in your lives, we would love for you all to wear red again tomorrow um, and let them know that you care about them, but more specifically, you care about their hearts. So it is now my pleasure to introduce South Carolina's governor, Governor Henry McMaster. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Ms. Bridges. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm delighted to be included in this. I've discovered over the years that a lot of our challenges, a lot of things we can do to make South Carolina better, don't, don't uh, require a, a whole lot of work, a lot of building, or it just requires information and understanding. And if we, if we understand what it takes to keep a, a healthy body and a healthy heart, and we understand the facts, and we have good doctors who, who can help us, it, it doesn't cost any money to do that. It's just awareness and communication. So this is a, this is a great this is a great thing. This is really the way you do it. As I've said, that there's no way that there'll be enough money in government ever to do everything that the people would like done. We've got a, a six foot bed and a four foot blanket, and we will never have enough money. So it's volunteer organizations, awareness, and communication, and really being a good neighbor. That make all the difference, and this is a this is a great manifestation of that spirit, and also that uh, d determination to make South Carolina a better place. So, I am delighted to have a proclamation to issue this proclamation, which I will now read: State of South Carolina Governor's Proclamation. Whereas cardiovascular diseases are the number one killer of women in the United States, and whereas cardiovascular diseases claim the life of one woman almost every 80 seconds, and whereas approximately 80% of cardiovascular diseases may be prevented, and whereas some risk factors such as blood pressure, cholesterol levels, smoking, and lack of regular physical activity can be controlled, and whereas the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women movement motivates women to learn their family history and to meet with a health care provider to determine their, la their risk for cardiovascular diseases and strokes. And whereas Go Red for Women encourages women to take control of their heart health by knowing five numbers that can be life-changing. Total cholesterol, HDL, good cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, and body mass index. And whereas increasing awareness, speaking out about heart disease, and empowering women to reduce their risk for cardiovascular diseases can help save thousands of lives each year. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, Governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim February 2, 2018 as South Carolina Wear Red Day throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to wear the color red to commemorate this day and show their support for women in the fight against heart disease and stroke. And signed by me, and I thank you, and Ms. Bridges, there you go.